let's take a look and see who we've got here. So I'm Jen and this is Bryce. Hello. And we're here to talk about our two kids, Brycey, who's six, no. and Rylan, who's two. Uh -huh. We own a plumbing company and Bryce runs the operations outside of the office and I run the operations in the house. Well, our plumbing. When Bryce is at work, I'm usually taking care of the kids, manning the phones, making sure all the invoices and bids get out. The problems that we have with Bryce basically are back talking us all the time. No! Not listening. Get in here now! Get no. in here. No! Stop it. <laughs> being very rude and disrespectful to us. No. You're six years old, stop. Bryce, no. just settle down. <laughs> Bedtime with Rylan. <laughs> it's pretty frustrating. Rylan just does not want to go to bed at night. Come on. As a mother, I feel like I've done something wrong to create this. <laughs> I feel like the kids run the house. Hang on, no, just wait. Bedtime, come on, it's been two, two minutes. <laughs> this is crazy. Don't you throw that toy back. I got you. Uh, I think it's just easier to give in to the kids. You don't want to brush your teeth? Than to enforce the rules. OK, you don't have to brush your teeth. Will you just come out? I would love to get in control of our house back. I would love to um, know that we are in charge instead of my children being in charge. Definitely, definitely love to get the control back. I am begging for Super Nanny's help right now. Oof. This family clearly needs help, and I'm on my way. I'm Bryce, nice Bryce to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bryce, nice I'm so proud to meet you. I'm Jen, and this is Rylan. Hello, Rylan. When I first arrived at the family, they were extremely pleased to see me. Seem nice to meet Say you. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Yeah. Come, on, Come in. on in. Okay. I think I was expecting an older, very stern woman. I was expecting Super Nanny to be really strict and ready to tell us exactly what to do. Say hi. It was a wonderful surprise when I met Jo. She's someone I feel like I could sit down and talk to right away. Jen and Bryce, I know that you've got some issues that need to be addressed, but I'm here today to observe you as a family. So go ahead as normal, make out I'm not here, and I will watch you. Thank Sounds you. great. Brilliant. All Thank right, then. you. Just after I arrived, Brycey started to act up. Hey, tell me about your day. Crazy. It was cold out. Right. Yes! What's the deal? It's the deal. Brycey could sometimes be uh, disrespectful in back-talking his parents. That's not Very nice. nice. You don't have to say that. You don't have to talk Where? like that. Hey. Where? Right. Where? And is that constant? The, the, the smart-mouthing? The, the smart-mouthing, yeah, has definitely gotten worse. Smart-mouthing is, is, yeah, real bad. Hey, Bryce! Bryce, you're going to go to timeout and go to bed early. You're going to go to bed early tonight. Okay. And the mimicking, all yeah. of that? Yeah, he does that to annoy us. There are ways in which you can voice your opinion, and how Brycey does that is not acceptable. There you go, guys. Don't colour on the table. The boys were colouring at the dining table, and Rylan went to colour on Brycey's book, and he had an absolute fit. No, nice. no, 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 Rylan! Tell him to go to Settle time down. out. Down. No! Bryce, no, no, put him in time out. Go. Bryce, listen to me. Hey. Hey. Bryce. That's ridiculous. Look go at tell me. him to go to time out. Just wait a second, Bryce. Brycey, look at me. Okay? He doesn't know better. Bryce, he doesn't understand. That's Bryce, the that's not yours. Yours is right here. Yeah, you don't have to act like that. It's all right. Why do you act Bryce. like that? Bryce. It's all just got a little bit heated. There's no communication going on in, in the kitchen. And clearly, Mum has had enough. Do you need help yeah. with anything? No. Okay. What are you colouring? What is that? Well, they're plumbing. Well, they're plumbing. 
phone doesn't stop ringing. <laughs> it's constantly ringing. It's really loud as well. Hey, don't drag him. Where were you? Oh, come on. businesswoman now. I'm constantly moving. If I'm not working in the office, I'm doing laundry. If I'm not doing laundry, I'm taking care of Rylan. If I'm not taking care of Rylan, I'm mopping the floor. So there's plenty to do here during the day. Oh, there you go. There goes my phone. Yeah. Jen's just taken on too much for her own good. Come on. Ah! Nothing's really being done properly. <laughs> so why don't you just get them started with here. some spaghetti? Hang on, I'll get you some. So, Jen, you get to eat tonight? I do get to eat tonight. <laughs> Just a little later. OK, here we go. Baller Plumbing, hello? Can you hear me? OK, let me go get on a different phone. Hold on one second. This phone might be going dead. It's 7 o'clock, and Mum's day still hasn't ended. We're working over here. You guys go over there. Bryce, we're working over here. Okay, come on. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. It's nine o'clock at night. The children are overstimulated running around the house. How are they going to get the children to bed? No. <laughs> Sweet dreams. I'll leave it cracked. There we go. Okay. We're putting him to bed, right? I love you. You ready to go night-night? Okay. Good night, sweetheart. Putting Rylan to bed, it's hard work. <laughs> that usually takes hours. <laughs> Mommy's here. Oh, you know what? His Winnie the Pooh blanket's out on the couch. What's the matter? Let's get your blankie. Come on. Here, Rylan. Here, buddy. I love you. Sweet dreams, sweetheart. I love you. Good night, buddy. I love Good night. You. Getting Rylan to sleep is a nightmare. It really is a nightmare for the whole family. No, Rylan, come here, sweetheart. Come here. Brycey, hold on a second, please. I love you. Rylan, hey. Come on. Come on, Bryce. It's fine. You want anything? Is that you just you'll just sit with him on the couch until he goes to sleep. That's what we, that's. The you thing. need to stay out of it because you don't usually put him to bed. So why don't you just let me try and you go work for a little bit, okay? Okay. Okay. I'll be right back to check on you. I'll come check on you, honey. I love you. Right, so how many times do you do that at night? Probably about five times. Five times. Putting him back into bed. Yep. Comes out. Putting him back to bed. Yep. Okay, and does this, he come out of the this, room? Yes, sometimes he comes out of his room, which he's about to do right now. <laughs> Jen trying to put Rylan to bed was extremely emotional to watch. <laughs> How does that make you feel when you've got to listen to your baby <laughs> crying? <laughs> it's exhausting. <laughs> It's horrible. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on. I don't know what we did wrong, I guess. I don't know how this started or when it started. Um, but I just don't know how to help him. Putting Rylan to bed takes hours. I think it was maybe nine times he had gotten up. Um, until finally, I just agreed that he could sit on the sofa. Sit with mommy? No. It just feels hopeless. I, I just don't see an end coming to it. Take a break, hon. You don't have to. Do you know? 
Jen? Yeah. It's all right to turn around and go, I don't know. Right. It's hard for me to say that, though. Because why? I feel like a horrible mom. What makes you feel like you, you're a horrible mom, Jen? Because you only have one chance, oh, okay. you know, with these kids. <sighs> and I just feel like, you know, if I, if I don't know what I'm doing, then they're gonna pay for it. And it's a horrible feeling. Because I love my boys so much and I just don't want to screw them up. Oh, I know you do. That's the, I, I see that, Jen, I see that. I see that very clearly. And that, that it's all right to turn around and go, I love my kids, but I don't know. I haven't got the answers. <laughs> I haven't a clue. <laughs> it's all right to admit that. Thank you. <laughs> it's all right to admit Thank that. Thank you so much. Huh? We are so happy you're here. <laughs> and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm glad I'm here too. Jen had struggled for more than two hours to settle Rylan. She feels completely out of control and she's desperate. She doesn't know where to turn, what to do for the better. And she's exhausted mentally and physically. When I first meet a family, I go in and I observe their family life and the dynamics between parents and their children. And I take mental notes throughout the day of what I feel is not working. And I sit down and I talk to the parents. Well, I've observed and I've taken mental notes. So follow me through and let's have a chat. All right. right. Okay. Joe's probably noticing that we're always yelling and screaming in my house. It's always chaotic. It's kind of nerve-wracking having a stranger in the house, but maybe she'll give us some peace in the house and a little more control. Bryce and Jen, I've had the pleasure of being able to come inside your home and observe. You have two adorable children. I think it's fantastic that you have your own business. Your business puts the bread and butter on the table. <laughs> I do recognise, though, that there is a price that is being paid. And that price is steep. You run a successful business that's open 24-7. But let me remind you, you're both parents, and that's a 24-7 job too. We've got Brycey, who back chats, I mean, why do you sit and tolerate Brycey, who's six years old, and he talks to you with such disrespect? I don't know what else I could do. I mean, I can't smack him or anything, because that's not, that's not right, you know? Your boy is laughing at the pair of you, and you're his parents. You're meant to be in charge. It's absurd. Sleeping is a big, big, big issue in this house. You have taught Rylan exactly how to behave. You have given him the bad habits. You've taught him that if he screams and cries enough, that he can come out into the sofa. Mm -hmm. Can you blame him? Mm -mm. No. He wants his quality time with you during the night time because he's not given it during the day. I work from seven to five every day, so I'm not I'm not here during the day at all to to, to have any structure or any playtime or anything with him. When you are home, we're we're busy doing other things other than just sitting and and spending time with him. I mm -hmm. think is what she's saying. Yeah. You're not consistent, the pair of you, with anything that you lay down as discipline. You don't agree on anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. And Jen, you shout. At Bryce. I know I talk bad. You need a break. <laughs> no. This is tough to hear, but this is the truth. And you're meant to be together. You're meant to be solid. You're your kids rock. And there's no united front between the pair of you. If you do not take 
What I am saying seriously, if you do not open your eyes to see exactly what's going on in your family life, then we're fighting a losing battle and I might as well go home now. No, I definitely take it seriously, yeah. I'm dedicated to be able to help the pair of you turn that around. Thank you. Are you committed 100%, yeah. Russ? 120. Jen, are you? Absolutely. So we're in for some hard work, but we're in to change this for the good? OK. Yeah. She pinned us when she said that Bryce and I don't communicate. We don't have time to discuss our children. When we are talking, it's usually business. She had a lot of good points, so I think the truth is what hurt the most. It's good. I think it's going to be really good for the family. So we, we needed to hear it. Hello. 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 How, How are, you? are you? Good. Good. I want to put something for the pair of you on the fridge door. When I've seen the issues that need to be addressed, I then go into the family with a new household routine. The Bullard work and family schedule. I'm excited. OK. They so badly need to maintain a balance between their work and their family life. This work and family schedule gives you boundaries. Where you see red, it means that you can answer the phone, which I think is evened out nicely throughout the day. I think so too. The places where I've stated that you need to have the phone off is because they're crucial to your family. There's no reason why this can't work. I think that's fantastic. I know he um, is probably annoyed because he wants me to answer the phone 24 hours a day. But I think, I think that will help me out tremendously. I think it'll work well, except for maybe the phones for the business. But other than that, I hope we can stick to the schedule. After establishing the routine, I wanted to address the discipline and the children's naughty behavior. These mats, there's two of them. Hello. Rug. Rug, yes. Rug. It's a rug. Yes, it is, Rylan. I'm introducing naughty mats into the home. OK, this is how it goes. You give your children a warning. You tell them to stop the behavior that's not acceptable. You come down to their level. OK. OK. And you give them eye contact and you use a voice that's low like that. Stop that behavior. Now, once you give that warning, if they don't listen to you, you place them on the naughty mat. You say to them, you've not listened and I want you to stay there now until I come and get you. When that time is up, you go back over and you say to them, that behavior was not acceptable. You know why you're here on that step. I want an apology. Hi, you've reached Bullard Plumbing. Please leave a message and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bring me a backpack, sweetie. Brycey started to push Rylan around and he just wouldn't stop. Brace, brace, stop. Jen, first warning. Stop. First if warning. If I have to ask you again, you'll go to the naughty mat. He didn't stop pushing his little brother around, so he got sent to the naughty mat. I'm not going to have you act like this. Stop. Stop. Walk to the mat right now. Change your tone. And he did not like it. He started shouting and yelling at the top of his voice. If you don't put your foot down now and you don't show him authority, don't, don't look at him. Don't look at him and don't give him dirty looks. I'm going to be adult here and you're in charge. OK? All right? Just ignore him shouting and you just do your thing Continue. with violent. Yeah, and after the six minutes, okay. then you go over to him, OK? OK. Jen stuck out the six minutes and she went and told him, you know, I want an apology. I will listen to you, but I want you to calmly tell me what you have to say. Give me a hug. No. I no, want no, you no, to no, say no. you're sorry. This is, this is what we do. This is okay. what we do. You didn't listen to Mummy, so Mummy would like an apology for that behaviour. You get the apology, he comes off the mat, OK? And I'm saying this quite clearly in front of you, Bryce, so you know why? Because you're a smart, intelligent boy and I know that you know better. But you do need to listen to Mummy. Bryce is realising that when he behaves in a way that's unacceptable, there is a consequence for it. Come here. Come here. OK. Later on, Jen got a phone call from Bryce. Hello. Where are you? 
No, I, I've been trying to get a hold of you, Bryce, and you haven't been answering your phones. I could tell he was agitated with me because I had the phone off. He doesn't know how to separate work and family. To him, it's all, it's all one. Hello. There's Daddy. Hey, what's up? Daddy, Daddy come here. What's Hi. up? Tonight, Jen started to tell Bryce exactly how she was feeling. I just want you to understand that the schedule is important to me. I like it, and it's working for me so far. And it just, it's just going to be hard to get used to, you know? Just know that you can get a hold of me at those times and... Yeah, but it doesn't work that way. It does. It can wait. People aren't going to die. It's plumbing. I don't like the phones being off. It's a sacrifice for the better, I think. But still, it's going to be tough. Mum and Dad have allowed Ryland's sleeping pattern to take over the entire family of an evening. This issue seriously needs to change because it's affecting everybody in the family dramatically. Jen and Bryce, we're going to use the sleep separation technique with Ryland to get him off to sleep, OK? And this is how it works. You come into the room, you keep calm, you read a nighttime story, kisses and cuddles, and so to bed, and you place Rylan into his crib. When you've done that, you move to this corner here and you sit down, like so. So he can see the side of your face, but you're not giving him eye contact. Each night, you move further and further away from the crib or bed so that you establish this pattern of your child feeling secure in their bed but not feeling anxious because they're left in their bedroom on their own. Do not, under any circumstances, as soon as you see him trying to climb over, get up from your spot and try and stop him. Because what you will do is find yourself fighting with your son in the crib like this to try and keep him down. And you can't control that. From wherever he's standing, he's not getting no communication or eye contact with you because that is what he's going to be looking for and that is what he's going to try and grab. And once he's got it, he won't stop. Putting Rylan to bed takes hours. I'm usually just exhausted and nearly in tears. If this bedtime routine works out, it's going to change everything. Jen went to put Rylan to bed and had started to read stories to him. And then very quickly, he gave her signs that he wanted to go into the living room. No sofa. Here. Yeah, lovely. Rylan's room. So Jen put Rylan in his crib and he didn't want to go there. Mom! Mom! Say nothing, Jen. I started to kind of feel anxious about the routine when I had to bow my head and basically ignore him. Really well. Rylan decided to climb out of the crib. Jen went back into the crib. And he just went mad. was just crying, mommy, mommy, mommy. It got to be too much at one point. I, 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 almost, I almost got up and grabbed him out of the crib. <laughs> Jen became very emotional and, and started to cry. <laughs> Listening to her child call her name was just ripping her heart out.
although it was only 25 minutes, it, it seemed like an hour. I, I honestly could not have done that without Joe. I was just so excited that, that we had gotten my two-year-old to sleep and, you know, fairly calmly. I was just so happy I can't even put it into words. <laughs> I'm going to leave for a couple of days and Jen and Bryce are going to have to put the techniques that I've taught them into practice because I'm not around forever. You guys are on your own. I want to see that routine underneath your belt. I want to see no more back chat from Brycey. Follow the small details with the technique, the bedtime routine. Yeah, that works well. Talk to one another. Okay. Well, thank you. I think they're going to be challenged while I'm away. Okay. Take Thanks. care. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Really Trust me, I am going to be watching them. I'm worried that when she's gone, I'm going to forget. All of a sudden, I, I feel like I don't know how to parent. <laughs> I've taught Jen and Bryce techniques that they need to implement. But trust me, I am going to be watching them. Four for dinner. Tonight, we went out to eat. I was nervous, and I was anticipating the worst. This is good. They're all at a restaurant. Hey, sit down. Sit down and eat your dinner. Come on. Good boy. Eat your half, Rylan. Eat your half. You don't want any of it. Well, let's see. What's going on here with Rylan and his food? One more bite. One I'll trade you a bite for a drink. Rylan's not eating his food, but Bryce is doing really, really well. Well, you did awesome on your ribs. Thank you so much. It was very good. Very good. And a peek at the dessert tray, perchance? You want to do a dessert? Are you kidding? You are looking to cause conflict in this restaurant. You and Bracey are going to sit and eat something no, with chocolate in there and leave Rylan out. So Rylan's now setting the standard. Because he never ate, nobody can have dessert now. If Rylan didn't eat his dinner, we all have to suffer. This is crazy. I don't know. I don't know if dessert is called supper. You go bye bye. We're going bye bye. Go bye bye. Let's go bye bye. Come on. Oh, look. Putting Riley into bed. Excellent. I got this one. Mom. What's that noise? Is that a musical toy? Oh, it's going on there! My word, it's a light show going on in the bedroom. You've overstimulated Rylan now. Bryce, you're never getting your son to sleep now, I tell you that for nothing. I'm gonna turn this off. Mom! What were you thinking? At least one of them sleeping. Rylan, sit and drink your juice, please. Talk to the eyeballs. Huh? Talk to the eyeballs. I am talking to your eyes. Talk to the eyeball. Talk to the up. hand. Don't say that to me, OK? If I have to ask you again, you'll go to the naughty mat, OK? Talk to the hand. Are you talking to me? Excuse me? Talk to the hand? I don't think so. I'm done. Stop with your mouth. So if you've already given him a warning, why is he not on the naughty mat? We're going to start your reading. No! Yes. I said the other day. Don't talk back to me or you'll go to the naughty mat. Mom! What? I can't. Jen, put Brycey on the naughty mat. You were trying to get out of doing your reading. No! Yes, you were. No! 
Say it again, and you go to the timeout mat. Is this back talking? I'm confused. Bryce, come on. We've got to get your homework done. I can't believe this is going on. I need to get back to this house. Hello. Hey, how are you? Hi. How are you? I really love bringing in the DVD because it shows the parents exactly where they've gone wrong. OK. I've got footage for the pair of you to sit down and take a look at this. OK. Follow me, then. OK, guys. Take a look. Talk to the eyeball. Talk to the hand now. Are you talking to me? Don't say that to me. It's not funny. You're not being cute. You are there and then telling young Brycey not to address you with that attitude. Mm -hmm. And you need him to take you seriously. Make sure you're aware of when he starts to back talk. Remember, use the naughty mat and knit that in the bud straight away. Okay. You want to do a dessert? You and Bracey are going to sit and eat something. No, I don't chocolate want Chocolate in there and leave Rylan out. If Rylan didn't eat his dinner, we all have to suffer. Mommy panics again. And mommy needed a good talking to in that <laughs> restaurant, I tell you that. There are ways in which the pair of you can talk without shouting and yelling at the top of your heads in front of the kids, because that's what they pick up. We're talking about dessert. Rylan didn't eat his food, so no, he's not entitled to dessert. But young Bryce, he ate his food and he behaved beautifully, and that should be rewarded. But you were saying yes, you were saying no, because of the fear that Rylan would kick off and have a fit in front of everybody and you'd feel embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Everybody's entitled to have a dessert if they right. want. Right. Sorry. Mm. I got this one. <laughs> my night. Hold on a minute. Yeah. Where was that music? That's the toy that I gave him that <laughs> didn't seem to work. That was a hard bedtime <laughs> night for Bryce. No. Bryce, what was you thinking? You're overstimulating. <laughs> I kind of realized that about 45 minutes <laughs> later. Anything musical, anything that's going to give a, a light show is going to overstimulate Rylan, and it's going to become playtime, not bedtime. Keep it all calm and put him to bed, and then start edging yourself out as well, OK? So now we've watched the footage, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick around today, help the pair of you reinforce and fine-tune the stuff that still needs working on. That would be fantastic. OK, yeah. brilliant. Let's thank get you. going, then. All right, All right. Thank, you. thank you. Watching Jen on the DVD, that was pretty scary. Wow, she just looks meaner on the, on the DVD than in real life. <laughs> well, I didn't still... even realize how much I raised my voice at both the kids and Bryce and I'm definitely going to change that. Why is he on that mat? Uh, he's on the mat for back tucking outside and not taking his boots off when he got in. Children do need boundaries, and they do need to be told by their parents what they can get away with and what they can't. OK, please speak to me. OK, don't whine. Look at me. I need to look at you so they can communicate with you. Look at Mummy. Look at Mummy. OK, without whining, can you tell me? I'm definitely learning the discipline part of it. Can I have a hug? This process has not been easy. Thank you. But to me, it's all worth it. I think Brycey's learning to respect both Bryce and I as parents. Love you. Thank you, Joe. OK. <laughs> it's bedtime for poo, isn't it? You're doing well. We're going to make that bed properly so it's all cosy. Tonight, Bryce put Rylan to bed, and it was a very special moment. He put Rylan into his crib. He sat on the floor, put his head down, and he waited for him to get out of the crib. But he didn't get out, not once. I didn't think he would just go to bed within 25 minutes. That was amazing. Just feels, feels awesome. The biggest way it's impacted us, I think, is the sleep. Awesome. Now I, I wake up and I'm refreshed and I'm ready to start my day. Ready? All right. And because of the schedule, I have a lot more balance between work and family. Off? Can you say off? Ah. Yay! Oh, good job. Good job.
I think my family is just going to be so well-rounded now. The Bullard family have changed immensely. They've gone from a family that have had no boundaries or discipline, but now they get it. They're happier, the children are happier, and they're managing to juggle work and, and family. <laughs> we get along better now. The boys listen to us. They respect us. They go to bed on time. I mean, it's a, it's a huge impact. Huge. <laughs> The routine helps out greatly. I don't feel stressed anymore, and I think it's great for the kids to be on a schedule. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed with joy right now. All right, then. Can you give Jojo well, a hug? I'm going to go now. Bye-bye, darling. Bye. Bye. Mm. Say thank you. Thank Take care. You. You're welcome. Rylan, right. can you come give her a hug? Rylan. Right, give her a hug and oh, say goodbye. Can you say bye-bye to Jojo? Jojo's going now. Say bye-bye. She's got to go bye-bye. i got to go. Oh. Oh. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, darling. Yeah. Rylan and Brycey are just sweeties. They really are. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> it's always hard to leave a family that you become so attached to. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm very proud of Jen, of Bryce. I'm proud that they've embraced fear, embraced their anxiety. OK. Bryce, Thank you, take care. They faced up to what they needed to do in order to change their life for the better, and they got the results that they truly deserve. We've got a routine working in this house now. Stick with it. You've got a nice balance between family and business. So let the both of them thrive. OK? All right. Take care. Thank Bye. You. Bye, Brycey. Bye. Bye, Rylan. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed that it's all over. It's been such a great experience for my whole family. Um, and it's really going to change our lives. I am so thankful that we were able to go through this whole experience. We have control back, we really do, and Jen's happier, I'm happier, the boys are happier. Brycey doesn't back talk anymore. Get your spoon. Any excuse? Yes, you may. Ryland just goes to bed within 25, 30 minutes. Bryce now understands that we can run a business and still spend quality time with our kids and nothing's gonna be broken. I can see how happy the kids are, so I'm definitely gonna put the kids before the business now. Bryce and I have a whole new outlook on life. We communicate better, we're more loving towards each other, we don't really yell at each other that much anymore, and it's affected us in a positive way. How? We are gonna take what Joe has taught us, and I think it's just gonna get better and better.